why art? Why not art? Um, actually, my mom was an art teacher, um, so I grew up around art and creativity, and it was something that I always really loved. I love the stories that art tells. I'm a storyteller, and I love that we can learn so many different things from art from all parts of the world and all time periods. It's just so enriching. Hi, my name is Emily Holtrup. I'm the Director of Learning and Interpretation at the Cincinnati Art Museum. I have an associate's degree in art history from Grand Rapids Community College. My undergraduate or my bachelor's degree is from Western Michigan University in a field called public history, which is the study of history for museum use. And then my master's degree is from the University College London, and that's in architectural history. I got my first job in Miami, Florida, working at the museum called History Miami. I was there for two years, and then I felt like I wanted to get back to the Midwest and uh, got the job at the Cincinnati Art Museum. And my first position there was as the assistant curator of education for school and teacher programs. So I was in charge of all educational programs for school kids. And then I was promoted to the head of the department um, a little over 10 years ago and have been leading the department ever since. What do I love about my job? Well, I get to look at art every single day, and that is really exciting. And I also get to share the collection with people of all ages and abilities. So there might be a day in which I'm talking to a group of adults about our Van Gogh, and then I get to talk to a group of three-year-olds about our Chagall, and that's always a lot of fun. I also love researching our collection and learning about the exhibitions that are coming up. I'm a really curious person, so it's a great place to work. For people who want to broaden their skills in art, um, I think that a really great place is to start by just looking at art. Looking from, at art from all different cultures, all different places in the world, all different time periods, and really spending the time to look and to absorb that. It's not always just about making art, it's also about looking at art, because the more you look, the better you get. You know, the term better is, is all subjective. You know, it's your art but you can learn so much from art that has come before you. When you're learning about art, you should learn about all types of artists and all different kinds of artists. And I really encourage you to get outside of the traditional art history texts, which talk a lot about male artists or men artists and, and explore women artists, explore artists who are part of the BIPOC or the Black, Indigenous, People of Color community because there's a lot of really wonderful art that is being made that may not have made it into your art history texts quite yet. If you go to you know, websites like Google Art and Culture, you can see our collections. You can do virtual walkthroughs through the museums. And I think that that's where we're going. You know, We understand that not everyone's gonna be able to come to the museum, but if you can come to the museum, it is so much more engaging and impactful to be able to look at brush strokes and to be able to really see, you know, a work of art online might be this size and you come into the museum and it's this size and having that wonderful aha moment of getting to see actual works of art, having authentic experiences with actual works of art is just something that no one's ever gonna forget. And you're gonna really take a lot away from that because you're gonna see the artist's hand in that work of art. In Cincinnati, you're very lucky to have murals. You're very lucky to have public art. You know, you can visit the local museums and see art pretty much any time. I mean, those are resources, but also look for art in everyday things. Everything is art when you think about it, and you just have to appreciate it as art. Thinking about art history and what we can learn from the art that's come before us, you know, when you go to a lot of museums, you're gonna see, you know, ancient works of art that were used in everyday life. And I think that the fact that they're in an art museum now, they're art, but when they were first created, they were, you know, vases and pots to hold wine and to hold water or, you know, makeup compacts or things, you know, we also have decorative arts or beds or furniture at the museum that is beautifully carved. And I think that what that does by seeing those works of art and seeing those historical works of art, it teaches us to value the things around us a little bit more and to see beauty in the things around us because these objects are in the museum and they were never intended for a museum when they were first created. 
I'm a fiber artist and I knit and I sew and I embroider and you know I do um, I work with other artists in the community to create public art that is based on fiber um, so you might see something that I've knitted in the community so something that I wish I would have learned sooner is that art is a process and it takes patience and that it's not going to happen instantly and that you have to be kind of really patient in your work and methodical in your work to get the best outcome. Really not stressing that your work of art look like your neighbor's work of art or look like you know what everybody else is doing. Take the time to process your thoughts, your curiosity, your imagination into something that you're really proud of and that that's going to take time and that's going to take perseverance and that it's not an immediate gratification. You need to take the time to really understand why you're making the art that you're making. So if you're interested to, of coming to the museum and doing more with the art museum, we have a great summer camp program. You can talk to your teacher about coming for a field trip. That's a really great way to see the collection. Or looking on our website for some of the programs that we do in our Rosenthal Education Center, which is our family space that's open whenever the museum is.